doing? How's it going? Good. And then, uh, if I could just ask, can you not take your pet here? Oh, yeah. I <laughs> appreciate it. Thank you. Of course. Popo, just, how are you feeling? You know, you had the last year of a student injury. Just how are you health-wise now? Uh, I feel great. I'm just ready to go. Just got a lot of built up. Just ready to strike somebody. So, yeah. <laughs> this is fall campus. I guess probably your last go-around. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, not excited <laughs> for it, but, like, how much are you putting into it knowing that this is probably it? Um... I mean, a lot. I think it's just a lot of it's been focused on, like you said, this is the last go around, um, actually, and uh, just focus on preparation and um, you know building up the younger guys as well. A year ago, that podium, you're talking about how no matter how old you are, you're still younger than Cam. <laughs> well, now you're basically where he was a year ago, and he's still going, and might even not last year in there. Yeah. But mentally, what was that like to deal with? year Popo where you were for all intents and purposes expecting last year to be it um it was definitely frustrating but you know I don't really want to focus on the past and we're here and we're moving forward so I'm excited about that for in the first spring scrimmage you wreaked some havoc felt like you were back to yourself when, when did you know was that it was that the moment that you felt like yeah you're you're back now um I would just say you know going over the drills with coach Tony he's, he's changed my whole game um, being able to learn, you know, the backfield and everything that comes along with it rather than just going straight and just trying to wreak havoc. Um, being smarter in my gameplay has helped a lot. How so? Without getting the, every detail, but like what? Back, strong side versus weak side? Or yeah, I mean, like, or? if it's just like you could tell just looking at a lot of, obviously a lot of film study, um, but if they have, you know, one side stacked up more than the other and the back is the opposite, most likely the flow is going to the stacked up side. If the tight end's off, then there's a chance he comes back. You know, there's a lot of possibilities based off of it. And I didn't really know that until Coach Tony was teaching me, so. You've, you know, gone through a lot of ups and downs here. You, you could have looked outside of the program and been like, hey, maybe I need to a, need a change the scenery or something like that. What made you want to stick around here and finish out your career here? Um, I remember growing up as a kid, I just always wanted to go to Oregon and I mean, I've always been someone to stick it out no matter what because, you know, everything happens for a reason. And uh, I even got it tattooed on me finally. Uh, I was going to wait for a while, but got the O tatted, so, you know, I'm staying to for good. <laughs> How have you seen this defensive line room, like, improve over the offseason just compared to, like, in the years past? Oh, I mean, like I said, just the way Coach Tony runs meetings and his, he, his emphasis is uh, play the plays within the drill. And... I mean, there's times where we're doing drills and then we'll go into team and we just did the drill and it just carries over. And it's always good to see the young guys like, yeah, you come in, don't know how to play football, like real football. When it's fundamentals and all that, you just go in high school. And uh, I think Coach Tony, like I said, just does a great job of teaching us the real basics and fundamentals of football and learning to play smart rather than just utilize your strength and all that. So. You mentioned nourishing the younger guys. So what kind of you know things are you passing down to those guys? Um, for, for me, it's just telling them, like, it's going to be a lot, especially with this coaching staff. You know, they're, they're different coaching staff. And um, just, just take it in. You're going to get yelled at. You're going to get praised. Just don't, you know, keep going. And then I always tell them, like, if a coach is still talking to you, whether it's being yelled at or, you know, being praised, that's a good thing because when they stop talking to you, they don't really care anymore. So You've gone up against some premier alignment here, both in competition and just in practice every day. Mm -hmm. Jake made the league, Shane's made the league, yeah. Alex made the league, DJ Tsala made the league, obviously Panay off the edge. Yeah. Guys now, Junior's are supposed to be the strongest guy here. Yeah. How does, who, who is the toughest interior alignment you have faced here, even on this on this team, over your seven years in county? Um, I mean, honestly, it's with, with Coach Love and his strength and conditioning, like he's changed the whole program. And it's you could tell, it's like like you said, when I went against those guys, it was those specific guys. But now the whole line just has some type of pop. And it, it's good because, you know, we get to strengthen each other and iron sharpens iron. So. This, just looking down the roster, in particular this defensive line group really stands out to me. Just like name, 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 yeah. name. What is it like operating within this group that really does feel like one of the strongest position groups on this team right now? Um, it feels great because I mean, you got we think of it like as 
towards the long run of the season, we're going to be, you know, it's going to be on our backs and, you know, how we do is how the team does. And uh, I just, like you said, we have names and we have an expectation for each other and we hold each other to that expectation and standard in the room. So we just bring the young guys along with us. Obviously, there's a lot of experience up front, but there's also a lot of new faces on the back end. Um, how has this group kind of just gelled as a whole as a defensive group? Um, I would say just, you know, all the stuff that we do with Coach Lanning, like, and the connection as one of our pillars, uh, just we've emphasized it a lot as just connection. And now it's like, I remember when they first came in, it was just a little awkward cracking jokes with each other. But now you crack jokes, they crack jokes back. And it's just fun to see, like, everybody mesh instead of click up. So. What, what, what exactly was the injury? Uh, for my foot? Yeah. Uh, Liz Franck. How painful is that? Because I hear stories, but I uh, a 330 pound human being out. And when it first happened, it was just, I think it was just so much adrenaline. I just felt like a rubber band snap, and then I couldn't feel my foot or like move it. And then, but it was, it wasn't bad. I mean, it was, it was frustrating more than painful. Sure. So, well, last year in particular, when when you're unable to play, but obviously the year before it's a little different. But when pass rush has been an issue for the defense the past couple of years, how do you try it as best you can now that you're coming back to? Yes, everybody wants more. <laughs> no, no kidding. Yeah. But to really emphasize, including in a position that it's very hard to get there, but you have gotten there before. And if you're at full strength, you've shown you can do that. How, how important, how do you go about bringing that over the next month before the season to, to bring that back to this defensive line? Um, I mean, I think we just focus on stopping the run and getting the opportunity to rush the quarterback. Um, and we just really focus on those things first and like I said just getting to third and long or whatever it may be because um, you earn the right to rush a quarterback and you know you only get so many of those so we definitely you know taking a lot of steps and practicing more pass rush and all that but I think the main focus is on getting the opportunity and to rush the quarterback so has there been anyone individually or even specifically who's really stood out over spring camp or over the summer workouts um, like in terms of young guys or just anybody anybody I mean, I, I would really say all the young guys and then, you know, just seeing the older guys who came back just like as a whole, the whole defense is, you can see the, the growth mm -hmm. and it's, it's really cool to see because being out last year, I got to see it from a perspective of, you know, as a onlooker and like a, a viewer, I guess, but now, you know, being in it and just seeing everybody mesh and grow and take the steps that we need to, it's just everybody's growing, so. Who's behind, who's behind you and Taki at that zero shade spot? Um, I don't know. It's just we never have like a set depth chart. We just have things where we rotate, you know, so it's not really set in stone yet. Uh, the defensive growth, do you think that falls in line with what guys were saying during the spring where it's year one to year two and it's a hush this defense and it's just understanding it better? Yeah, most definitely. I mean, it's, it's a very hard defense to learn, um, but I think that's the main thing is – you know, uh, everybody being more comfortable within the defense, and you know, you guys, ha you guys, we have guys that are going on their second year of this defense and understanding it more, and then helping the younger guys, and it's just everything is just growing, just going up. So, a lot of the talking heads are obviously expecting this team to score a lot of points this fall, um, and I know you guys don't like to listen to outside noise, but uh, you guys coming into the season with the sense of hey, let's let's surprise some people as you know a really strong unit. Oh yeah, most definitely. Um, I think it's just. Just we're focusing on us and just like I, like you said, just going in there and surprising everybody, not worried about what they're saying, just showing what we really have. That's all I got. Thanks, Popo. Of course, yeah, thank, thank you, guys. Thank you.